Tonight, people came together to call for peace in the Bull City. It's a story we tell far too often in Durham. 34 people were killed last year. Most of them were shot. All of them a story of a precious life lost. Many of these cases remain unsolved. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer at the Durham Police Department tonight with one of those stories. Zach. Yeah, Marius, lots of family members and friends fill the Shepherd's House United Methodist Church here in Durham, including one family who's still dealing with a lot of pain and a lot of questions. It still hurts really bad to not have any answers. Ashley Bauer remembers getting the call she never expected last September. Her brother, 24-year-old Jacob Secor, killed near his Durham apartment. It was just unreal to me. I kept expecting him to walk in the door. Bauer says her brother was full of life, positivity, and a big heart. If ever anything was getting them down, he would come talk to them just to be there for them at 3 in the morning with coffee. That's just who he was. He shouldn't have been taken from us like this. Thursday night, she saw her brother's name with others on this quilt. A lot of pain. And heard with others throughout Shepherd's House United Methodist Church in Durham. At a vigil honoring nearly three dozen people gone but not forgotten. Bauer feels the gathering can bring comfort to her and others. This sort of loss isn't like any other loss. It's hard to relate to other people who, you know, they don't understand. For Bauer, she and her family will continue looking for answers while raising awareness to end violence. You need to stop before you take a life, and you need to think about how many people that you're going to hurt by just hurting that one person, by killing that one person. Now, earlier today, we reached out to Durham police about Jacob Secor's case. We're still waiting to hear back from them. If you have any information related regarding this case, you're asked to call Durham police. Live in Durham, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.